balancing out tarot here with your second half of your monthly for my favorite zodiac sign which happens to be leo sun moon rising this is from may 15th to the 31st leo so let's see what's happening at first i tried to do leo but then i had some bad news and i was like fuck this shit i want some good news for leo so i'm gonna wait as long as i can possibly wait so let's see what's happening for my Leos. Sun and moon rising. May 15th through the 31st. Remember, Leo, that I am running a special this month. For those of you that um, you guys won last month for the month of April, go back and check the comment board to see if you were a winner of a free one hour. If you don't check it this week, this is the fourth time Cricket has picked two winners. The fourth time, okay? So that means that you guys don't have your uh, your subscription hit and you do not have your notification button hit. And what's going to end up happening, Leo, is that you're going to lose out for this entire month. So go back, check the comment board, forgive that phone ringing in the background. I never answer it. It's my house phone. But, um... Go back and check the comment board to see if you won. Okay, right now you're running neck and neck with Sagittarius. You still have the opportunity to win. You got like about nine point something thousand views right now for the month. So you can catch up with Sagittarius with this second reading. If you don't, kudos. I'll be choosing two winners from the Sagittarius reading. Okay. Spirit and Universe, what are the messages you have for the zodiac sign of Leo? Sun, moon, rising, May 15th through the 31st. Give me Leo. trying to spend too long on this i didn't like the first couple readings i did for you guys so i stopped it i ain't gonna lie i stopped it i want some good shit this month you want some good shit i do too okay don't forget to join me every saturday night at 10 p.m eastern standard time for live videos and a learning session with me truly yours truly bella dutch i'm all seeing that here as well as cricket my pr she may be joining me some months as well, some weeks as well. Eight of Swords, okay. The Queen of Swords, okay. It's the first time for that. Okay, Linda. Five of Swords, Six of Pentacles, the Devil, Two of Wands, Knight of Cups, Knight of Swords. Mm. The death card. Okay, Linda, what the hell? Nine of Wands. It still looks as bad as every time I did it. The world. The Ten of Cups. Chariot. Three of Swords. The King of Pentacles. And the High Priestess. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck. I was waiting on it. The Queen of Cups. Okay. We got a few different people in this reading for this week. Or these two weeks that are coming for the month of May. We got Libra, Gemini. We have Cancer, Pisces. And we have Capricorn, Taurus. Those are the three zodiac signs that pop up in the reading for the two weeks. All right, so we got the Eight of Swords, the Queen of Swords, the Five of Swords, and Six of Pentacles. What this is saying to me is that there are those of you that may be coupled with an individual, maybe the Queen of Cups, maybe Cancer Pisces. We got the Eight of Swords and the Queen of Swords, so it could be that this person is coupled with Libra or Gemini. We have the Five of Swords and Six of Pentacles. This is going to be for those of you Leos that are used by Cancer Pisces. You might be being used by this person. You're being used by this person because this person has someone in their life and that happens to be a Libra or Gemini. They're still in love with this person. They may have lied to you, but we have the Six of Pentacles. This person is using you for everything that they can get out of you, Leo. I know, I know, I'm sorry. It is what it is. I got to tell you the truth, okay? Because there's different stories in here, so just listen to me. Follow me. If you're coupled with an air sign, um... 
Leo, or you're coupled with a water sign that is still involved with an air sign. Steer clear of that because it kind of looks to me that you're being used by this individual. You know if you're being used, Linda, especially with a Cancer man or a Pisces man, okay? Because they only want shit from you. They don't never want to make it official between you and them. They don't profess their love, proclaim their love in front of the world. You don't visit for no no holidays. It's just a fuck fest between you and this individual. They seem to be trapped to a Libra or Gemini person they got kids with. Or they're still in love with. You got the five of swords. So they're lying to you behind your back. They're screwing you and this person. They have no intentions on leaving this Libra or Gemini. And they use you for whatever they can get from you. That's one story. The second story that's popping up. We got the devil energy. The two of wands. Knight of cups. And the knight of swords. The devil energy kind of represents that. You may be involved with a cancer of Pisces. Who... Is already in a situation, they already have a marriage or they have some sort of thing that is bounding them. So it could be financial situations that's bounding them, children with other women that are bounding them. Okay, but then the Knight of Cups kind of represents that you can tell that this person has some strong feelings for you. And lately you've been arguing with this person because you want them to do whatever you want them to do. You want them to act the way you want them to act. You are trying to rush a partnership between them and they're not feeling it. They're not feeling it because they're already attached to something. You know I'm going to pull cards on this, Linda. I got to. Because we got four different stories that's going on for the sign of Leo. Clarify the devil. We got the pages. Oh, we got the chariot. The Page of Swords, Judgment in the Reverse, hold on, okay, tell me more, the Devil, oh, cards are flipping, the Three of Pentacles and the Moon, this is somebody that came into your life blazing, they live a distance from you, they live out of town, they did not tell you what they got going on out of town, what they got going on out of town, if they're married, they're already in a partnership. They may have come into your life. You may have had great sex with this person. But then there could have been some sort of small argument or small disagreement that separated you. Clarify this. Look at this shit. What the fuck? I can't even shuffle the cards, Linda. Give me the um, Knight of Swords. Queen of Cups in reverse. Tell me more. Ten of Wands. Tell me more. They're lying. Something's going on with this water sun energy. Seven of Swords in the reverse, Queen of Swords upright. They're lying. Some sort of fight or argument has happened between you and a Cancer Pisces. Okay, they lied, they lied to you. They didn't tell you that they were still involved with someone, a Libra or Gemini, perhaps. They may have picked up and disappeared out of your life rather quickly. As quickly as they came in, Knight of Cups, they may have disappeared as quickly. Something's going on out of town. There's some out of town energy that I'm feeling here very strongly. Okay. Let's go into the two of wands. What's the two of wands? Because I see that queen of swords there too. So this is for those of you that might be dealing with cancer Pisces and they're married or in a relationship already with the queen of swords. Strength card. Tell me more. Ace of pentacles. Tell me more. This is for those of you that might be... Okay, so this is what I'm looking at. Y'all ready? You're Leo. You're coupled with an Aries or Sagittarius. There is a water sign in the story. But the water sign that's in the story has to do with their marriage. That Cancer Pisces... Um, Well, sorry. There's a Cancer Pisces involved in the story between... Your Aries or Sagittarius man, they may be coupled with a Taurus or a Capricorn. They married. They didn't tell you what was going on. They rushed into a relationship. You might have rushed into a relationship. You probably fucked this person without a condom, Linda, and now you're all hung up on them. But you didn't get the true story with this person. This person is already married, involved with someone. Clarify that, Queen of Wands. Seven of Cups in reverse. Eight of Swords. Look at that. The Wheel of Fortune. Give me the Eight of Swords. You got you got hooked up with a Sagittarius or Aries that 
Yep, you're the king of wands. Look at that, Leo. You got coupled with a Sagittarius or Aries that's already trapped in a situation. You got death, but don't worry, though, because something's about to end. Okay, so this is the story. You ready? All right. So my Leos that are coupled with an Aries or Sagittarius, there's an earth sign involved, Virgo Taurus. This Virgo Taurus, they're actually married. They're in a relationship. They did not tell you about the situation. They're married to this person, got kids with this person. And there's another situation that's coming up with a water sign that's involved in the story. What do I tell you that is dealing with a fire sign? Aries, Sagittarius, back off. Let them finish this, this contract. This is a contract that's in place that you cannot touch. You cannot get involved with. Let it go. Okay, back up. Because Spirit is trying to teach your Aries or Sagittarius a lesson. They lied to you when they got involved with you. You might have jumped in bed quick as hell with them, Leo. If you're a Leo like me, I know you jumped in bed with them quick as hell. All I think about is new niggas all the time, okay? I'm going to just keep it behind it, Linda. Okay? King, don't fuck with me. Shut the fuck up. I'm telling you the truth. All I think about is new niggas all the time. Oh, sorry. So, this Leo... Hope that with Aries Sagittarius, it was hot and heavy. You guys had a great sexual experience with each other. You fucked the shit out of each other. But then something happened that pissed you off. Maybe you realized, I moved too fast. This person was all talking that bullshit about how they want to be with me, how they want to be in a relationship. But then they didn't tell me they were still legally married. Who are they married to? A fire, a earth sign. Sorry. Taurus Capricorn. See that? Down the road. They got to end something with a Capricorn or Taurus individual. This is for those of you Leos that hope that with an Aries Sagittarius. Something is going on in this story. So back off for a minute. Will they come back into your life? Absolutely. Not, not right now, Linda. You get the Knight of Swords, the Ten of Cups, and the High Priestess. Eventually, they will come back into your life because they're your karmic soulmate with the Six of Pentacles, but not right now. Something's going on. You got to let spirit do their thing. Down to the next story. We got the death card, the nine of wands, the world, and the ten of cups. This is Leo's that may be involved with maybe a cancer Pisces. Because I got to go back to this because this is the overall energy. You're involved with a cancer Pisces. This relationship has ended because something is in the way. There needs to be a finalization of this marriage. Of this divining partnership. Maybe a soulmate. Clarify the nine of wands. Probably an earth sign too. Look at that. King of wands in a reverse. The will of fortune. You're in a reverse because you probably felt happy. Look at that empress. You probably felt happy when you hooked up with this water sign. Cancer Pisces. They probably were your king. But there's something that they have to end. They're married. Who are they married to? Capricorn Taurus. They're married. All right, they have to end this first before they move forward with you. Is it going to happen this week? I don't know. I don't think so. Clarify that maybe maybe the end of the month. Clarify the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups. Nine of Cups. Yeah, they might end this shit. Look at that. Ten of Wands. Oh, Seven of Cups in reverse. Clarify the Ten of Wands. What is that Ten of Wands? Oh, shit. Linda. Hold up. I got to Wait a minute. Oh, shit. Okay. King of Swords. This is the divorce. Okay? So, they are getting a divorce. If you're coupled with... If you're Leo, you've been coupled with a, a Cancer Pisces. They're getting a divorce. We got the Fool in the Reverse and the Emperor. Okay? So, they are getting a divorce. The Fool is in Reverse because they're not single. Because they still see you as their partner. The person that they're going to be involved with. Leo. Clarify the four in reverse. Why is the four in reverse? Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, so they're only waiting on a divorce. Nine of Wands in reverse. Five of Swords. Okay, so they may feel as if they did you wrong because they didn't tell you everything that was going on. Chances are, if you're involved with a Cancer Pisces and they were legally married, maybe you started off with a good relationship. You guys were hooking up on a regular basis. But then you ended up finding out that they were married and spirits separated the two of you. I feel like towards the end of the month, the very end of the month, might be the last week that Cancer Pisces is going to come back into your life and let you know that they're divorced. We have the Chariot, the Three of Swords, King of Pentacles, and the High Priestess. 
Okay, so for those of you that are Leo and you're coupled with an air sign, Libra, or I'm mean, so shit. Those of you that are Leo and you're coupled with a Capricorn or a Taurus individual, you got the chariot, you got the three of swords and a high priestess. You are finding out before the end of the month that this Capricorn or Taurus is cheating on you. They're cheating on you. They got somebody that they have been involved with. Clarify the high priestess. This is working multiple ways, okay? Multiple ways, multiple stories in here. Look at that, the Emperor card. Tell me more. Like I said, um, this is definitely about Leo that is coupled with the water sign. Look at that, King of Cups in the reverse. Definitely Leo that is coupled with the water sign, Page of Cups, okay? So, towards the end of the month, the very end of the month, if you're waiting on a Cancer Pisces, they're going to come back in your life because they're going to find themselves divorced by a divorce from a Capricorn or Taurus individual that lives a distance. But originally, they may have had to leave you. You might have had a perfect relationship with this person, but all of a sudden, they had to leave you. When they left you, they didn't tell you what the fuck for. All right? That's for Cancer Pisces that are involved with Leo. If you're involved with the Aries or Sagittarius, they're still married. I don't feel they'll be divorced for the month of May. They'll still be married. Okay? And you might be dealing with... um. Some situation where they'll come in and they'll act like they're divorced and they're not divorced. Okay, because they already lied to you in the very beginning. Now, the Cancer Pisces that is involved with Leo probably told them, yeah, I'm still legally married. I haven't been with my wife in a while, but I need to end this. You know, they probably backed out of your life because you guys are karmic soulmates. For the Leo that is involved with Aries Sagittarius, you guys are karmic soulmates as well, but they probably backed out of your life, but did not tell you why they backed out of your life. So this really speaks about those of you that are Leo and you may be coupled with water signs or you could be coupled with fire signs. But the interference this month is definitely coming from Capricorn Taurus. It's coming from Capricorn Taurus. And what this is saying to me, the overall energy, and you're not going to like it, but I got to give it to you raw, Linda. Leo, if you're coupled with Aries Sagittarius, if you're coupled with Cancer Pisces, you're still on hold. Because you have to wait for this thing to end. They're still married. You're not going to like that. But so what? For some of you, for a very small select few of you, Cancer Pisces is coming in this month before the month ends. I don't know which one of you it is. You got to hit me up for a personal reading. All seeing at tarot at gmail.com. But Aries Sagittarius, no. I don't feel they're coming in this month because I don't feel it's over. All right? I do not feel that this situation has ended with them. I'm going to keep it 1,000 with you, okay? Like, share, comment below, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit your notification button. If you want to win a free reading, definitely share the video. Make sure you like. Make sure you timestamp and subscribe and share it across all your social media, all right? You still got a chance to win, Leo. You won for the month of April. Make sure you go back, check the board to see if you were a winner. If you were, you better hurry up and get to my inbox and reserve it, all right? But yeah. Join me at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Saturday. And that's all I have for you.